Says a lot about you if you're not feeling the You could be my boo, you so cute with no makeup Wait, hold up Wait up Is that, is that? Is that makeup? You know every second adds up to a minute Need 10,000 hours We can be so alive So, Scoop, tell us where we're going So, we are That is the Tiff and Scoop show Hey y'all We are on our way to the doctor's office I, today, am getting a vasectomy I am sick of children um, <laughs> <laughs> Don't have to say it like that I barely like the two that we have. <laughs> no, I love, I love my kids. I love my kids. But no, really, I, I don't I don't have any urge to have any more kids. Two is a good number. That's the amount of kids that I feel like I can comfortably support financially, um, emotionally, and, um, you know, in, in every way that a father should support his children. Um, three would be, especially with a baby now at 34, um, that's gonna run me fucking thin. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my gum almost fell out. Of my mouth. <laughs> it's gonna run me thin. So, so I thought it would be cool for Scoop to say some of the things he's nervous about because I know there's other guys out there that um, may be considering getting a vasectomy, and you might want somebody to relate to. I know when I do stuff, I need somebody that look like me, sound like me, to tell me what they're going through. So. Scoop was about to tell me some of the things he's nervous about. <laughs> I am currently, but like all my stuff is stupid. So right now I'm really super nervous about the underwear I'm wearing. Like I'm kind of like I, I wore some sweatpants, um, but they're Looking dark. Like a slut. But they're dark gray. Still slut um, wear. So my dick print will be showing, um, regardless. But I'm what I'm not sure about is like I wore my box of briefs today. I'm you know to keep the dick print on you know. On a low, um, I can move it to a side, and um, you know, keep it low key. I'm with my wife, you know. Um, but I'm I kinda, wouldn't have thought wear around him too, so it's cool. Uh, I'm kind of nervous about if these were the right type of underwear, <laughs> um, because from where the doctor said the incision was, I'm not sure if these might bunch my balls up too much. Um, oh well, could you like free ball it? Like, could you take your? That's it, and then I'm not sure. Like, I mean, everyone there is gonna see my dick, right? And my nuts. So, so once they see your dick and your nuts, like, do you really need the underwear afterward? Like, well, after the after the procedure. And I'm also not sure how my dick works when I'm put to sleep. That's another thing I'm nervous about. What if I go full hard on in front of all the nurse, nurses, and the next thing you know, I got a malpractice suit because you know somebody tried to rape me in there. It's a, it's a pretty <laughs> penis. You do have a very pretty penis. Saying. Now I feel like I should be in there. Now I'm nervous. Should I be in there? Should I be in the room? I'm gonna be asleep, so whatever happens, you can't blame me. Just saying. Y'all see my face right now? Okay. Um, but no, I'm nervous about that. I'm no nervous about the soreness. Like I've pulled a groin muscle, I've pulled hamstring muscles when I was big in sports. Um, and every you know, once in a while during training, you'll overextend something or whatnot. But I'm a little bit nervous about how that pain's gonna feel. And I'm nervous because the prescription they gave me is confusing. <laughs> um, oh my God. Don't on, stop it. <laughs> on one side, it says that it's a nasal solution. And it says specifically, one spray nasally every six hours. Simple enough. But on the top, where it says the caution label, it also tells you do not inhale into nasal sinuses. Which seems like an absolute contradiction. <laughs> Of what it's telling you to do and what it's made for. I'm mm. not gonna lie, I'm a bit confused about that. And um, I'm still confused of what it is. Like, is it like something to no, help you for pain? Yes, okay. it's pain. It says it's for uh, moderate to severe pain. Um, so, sugar booger, but medicated, yeah. but uh, legal sugar it's, booger. Yeah, it's, it's the spray version of cocaine. Um, nice. Nice. See, the thing is, Scoop isn't a person to ask a bunch of questions. When I get anything done, I'm asking 104 questions. Scoop's just like, mm, they told me A and B, so that's all I probably need to know. It's like, no, ask a question. So hopefully he goes in there and say, hey, guys, this says I'm supposed to spray it in my nasal cavity, but at the same time, not do that. Any suggestions? Because it says spray in your nasal cavity. Maybe it's you just spray and let it sit there and you don't actually inhale like you do the mucus stuff. You know what I'm saying? You jump over all the way to the left because these people. I am about to do this. Minivan gets past me. 
I have a thing against minivans, y'all. I hate that that was shown on camera. <laughs> if you drive a minivan, we judge you. I hate minivans. Facts. They bother my spirit. Anyway. If we ever get to minivan status, then we'll change our mind. But we won't get there. <laughs> <laughs> we won't get there. Um, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm just, I'm just a little nervous about. It's not even the, the the not having kids things. I'm cool with that. Um, if somehow we make it big and famous and all that good stuff, um, I'll get a surrogate. She'll get a surrogate, or we'll you know adopt. Or um, also, I won't have to worry about any of you lying bitches out there saying that I got you pregnant. We wow. know that's not true. Edit it out. Who you fucking? Not fucking anybody. But that's okay. just. A lot of times you've heard uh -huh. of people saying that and they lied about it, uh -huh. which means they lied about the fucking. Uh -huh. Who you fucking? Unless Sam Hayek, you want to give me some pussy and you've been given a hall pass so you can get at me. This whole minute of footage is just in the trash. Why is that? You think Selma Hayek's watching our page? She's going to be like, ooh, poppy. I'm trying to figure out who you fucking. They'll be lying on you saying you got a baby. Who you fucking? Um, every bitch that follows a famous person and I'm not even saying I'm famous but if we were to get that big uh -huh. that shit happens all the time uh -huh. literally all the time why are you acting like it's a surprise shout out Bahama Breeze we love you <laughs> that's so odd ass plug in <laughs> hey, if it gets us free jerk chicken wings I'm for it <laughs> I'm looking you know. rough too I need it me too. You see, I was like trying to adjust. Like we ran out the house. Obviously, like my face ain't moisturized. So you know, what I had that means. too much uh, lip moisture on. My eyebrows were wonky. My wig is crooked. I'm not living my best life right now, but. Well, we were living our best life, you know. Of course, we had to do one more, one more for team, which threw us a little bit late. You no, know, this says as long as I get there by twenty. It says we'll get there by nineteen. I mean by eleven. I'm about to say nineteen. Sheesh, we're pushing it. Okay. I was wondering why you're going so slow. Anyway, do you not recall how I told you my license life ain't right? Uh, Last time Scoop got under <clears throat> anesthesia, I was pregnant with Junior, and I was that real pregnant to where I was about to pop. So we were getting all of our baby stuff delivered, right? So our crib was set to be delivered that day. Or was it our uh, baby hutch or something like that? And <laughs> Scoop had some teeth pulled out or something. Yeah, loopy as hell. Like, loopy. Like, they had to help me get him in the car because, again, I'm pregnant as hell. This big grown man, loopy as hell. We get to the house. No, we had to first get your medication. He's yelling at the lady in the drive thru. Can I offer to show her my dick? Yeah. Yeah. He gets real loose on the goose when it comes to anesthesia. <laughs> finally get him home get him in the house the guy who's delivering bless his heart the guy who's delivering our crib or whatever it is he has to bring it into the house scoop is yelling at him um i'm not crazy i just had surgery and the dude is like okay nigga like what are you talking about scoop was off the shit so i'm really excited that just lets y'all know i'm always with the shit <laughs> he's always with the shot he was lucky trying to fight old boy for bringing the crib in the house and we knew it was coming like that's the crazy part so i'm really uh curious to see how he is um coming off of this i don't know if it's a true anesthesia or if they just God, give I hope them so, i was told i was gonna get a needle in my nuts they're gonna have to put me out for that shit well sometimes they just numb a certain part of your body and they just give you not like a full anesthesia to where you need an anesthesiologist it's more like a sleeping kind of thing you know like i don't yeah. know it's level. I what hope I'm they put me all the way out. The next video is gonna be me pissed that they didn't. <laughs> if he asked me, I'm gonna be like, no, I need to go all the way, buddy. Y'all playing with my nuts? Let's go all the way down. So what exactly is a vasectomy? They just cut something inside yeah, of your nuts cuts, to stop the flow. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So moving forward, when we have sex, you're still going to nut, but there won't be any sperm. Yeah, in it. I think so. I don't know how that works either. I've never understood that. <laughs> hey, as soon as it happens, we'll let you guys know. You'll be the first. <laughs> Any last words before I cut this off? Nah, just uh, y'all pray for your boy. Oh, babe, we can totally go to Mexico. You don't have to go. 
What, go to Mexico to get this surgery? No way. No. <laughs> <laughs> no way. I mean, it's not for going. We can just go get brunch and call it a day. In Mexico? Nigga, no, no. You see, you know what I'm saying. That's what people say. It's an expression. It's not for going where you need to go. We can just go to Mexico. No, I'm good. I'm good. Like, get away. I'm Run away, love. Run away. Banter because we're going back and forth. You know, another thing I can't fucking stand is some fucking cops that be like trying to speed trap you before 7 a.m. Yeah, sir. Like, like what the fuck Go are you get doing? Some fucking coffee. Get some coffee and relax, sir. There's nobody on this street. So if I'm going 30 over the speed limit, it's only fuck me it. and Jesus's problem. Yeah. Not yours. Simmer the fuck down. I cannot. Like, if, stand if it's that big of a deal, tell the coroner when I crash. Right, right. Mind your business. <laughs> Mind your fucking business. I cannot stand it. Or the ones that be trying to speed trap during rush hour. We all got somewhere to go. Or no, I, We're bumper to fucking is, bumper. What I hate is when you take your cop car and two miles for getting off. Okay. I hate when you're in your cop car on your way home on the highway going barely the speed limit. Oh. Now everybody's barely going the speed limit. Right. And you know what you're doing. Yeah, you, you do. You know what the fuck you're doing. Yeah, you do. You know what the fuck it is. Like, ugh. You, the douchery, man. The douchery. Cannot stand it. No, I don't understand it. I really, I really don't. I just go ahead and take the service road. You ain't got nowhere to be. Obviously. People who get into crashes first thing in the morning. Like really, I want to yell. I want to yell at those people. Hey, buddy. Hey, thanks for ruining everybody's day. I'm late now. Thanks. Freaking thanks. But Everyone you know, else has be to be doing the work. most in the morning. I've seen somebody with a whole yo makeup. Yo, dude, what are you doing, ma? <laughs> like, and not just to... a quick. I'm putting on some lip gloss. It's they be just... having like some whole ass makeup bag shit in their car. What are you doing, ma'am? You can't beat your face in your car while you're driving. No, you you shouldn't. You definitely shouldn't. Or the people who have like a whole plate of breakfast. I swear, no, a I dude had it. no. I understand. No, if you got a sandwich, that's fine. Oh, but no, you have to about. hold a plate yeah, with no, if a, you have fork, a fork. Yeah, now you're doing too much. This dude had grits, sausage links, and pancakes on the plate driving. I'm like, what? You couldn't sit and eat yeah, that? Like, what you doing? That's a bit too much. Where you going and what you doing? That's a bit too much. But I definitely can rock with a sandwich. Yeah, something that you can tote fine. Hot that's cakes, totally fine. No. You don't need and to then on top of that, it wasn't even a, a paper plate. This it's nigga had a house plate. House plate. Real fork. Well, that's right. Yeah, no, I know, but make a left in furthest line. Oh, okay. House plate, full fork, grits, link sausage, and pancakes all like this dropping. What you doing? Where you going? Oh, the mountain pot. I keep, every time we pass, I'm like, we should go there. We need to go next time we can. We need to go. I like the mountain pot. It's a good date night. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And especially, like, I don't know about dating. Like, I would hate to date in these. Times. I couldn't tell because that. if you sit there on your phone, me, you gonna have a problem, bitch. You gonna talk to me. You might not give me no pussy, but you definitely gonna talk to me during this three hundred dollar date. I'm sorry. That's another thing. People always feel like you gotta have these expensive ass dates. Like we rarely. How am I gonna get to know you? All I know is that you're an expensive motherfucker. Honestly, I think like the first few dates should be something not at the house because I think that's way lax but i think it should be like a starbucksy kind of thing just so yeah, you can not, sit and talk yeah maybe even like a, a like a brunch brunch is good yeah, i think dinner is a bad first date over because the men let's be honest men are expecting to get some pussy not saying that we think it that night we're gonna get some but we're gonna definitely try but still i just i don't think like the first date should be movies or a no, three the first four hundred dollar date. The first two or three dates should, in my opinion, should definitely be something to where you guys are forced to talk. Yeah. See if you even like. And I, I think a lot of people are in these relationships with people they don't even like. They either enjoy the person too no, fast, here, and they never got to really know them. And by the time they did, it was kind of too late. They had feelings, or they had sex way too fast, and now either they're should be the next main street. They have children, so they need to be together, and it's like a situation ship, or maybe they got together like when they were younger and they've kind of grown. But I can't be with somebody that I didn't genuinely like. Like I like to hang out with Scoop. Like I like to I'm go also out dope, with him. So there's that. But I think if people just took the time to have those first two or three dates where you're talking about yeah, real shit, you. not like do you smoke, do you drink? It's on a what? Right. Not if do you smoke, do you drink? Like hey. How do you feel about this? Where do you see yourself in a few years? Um, so it's 
kids. And do you got kids? You got any felonies? Like, really? Says a lot about you if you're not feeling the. You could be my boo, you so cute with no makeup. Wait, hold up. Wait up. Is that, is that? Is that makeup? You know every second adds up to a minute. Need 10,000.